you much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, the next one is the Banks Peninsula Community Board. Uh, and if I could invite Tori Peden to come to the table. I have Tyrone Fields, Deputy uh, Chairperson, joining us this morning. Good morning. He gets to push the buttons. I do. I can do that. <laughs> I'm up. OK, so first up we have um, the Mount Herbert by-election. Um, from what we understand, we've got 19% voter turnout so far. Um, we're hoping to get um, the target of 50% turnout. 24% is... now. Oh, OK, 24%. That's nice. Like I said, we're working on getting that 50% turnout, um, as quite often is um, the number at the peninsula. Um, and we are working with local communities to make sure they get out there and vote. Um, but we are looking forward to welcoming the new board member um, at our 2nd of March meeting. Now we've got cruise ships in Akaroa. Yes, there is cruise ships in Littleton this season, but um, more so next year. Um, the board's longer term priorities for this um, this term is destination management, um, and and we are working on that through our board plan. Um, however, in the in the short term, we are doing um, some small things to to Akaroa to help with um, cruise ships and how they and how the um, passengers and crew are taken care of in Akaroa. Um, as you can see in the photo there, we've got the big belly bins. They're going down really well. Um, was it 27? Normal bins got taken away to have yeah, like that, seven yeah. big belly bins put in. Yeah. So um, we're still working on is that the right number, um, and we're working with staff with that. Um, as you can also see there, we've had some um, greening of the green space. Um, you can see we've extra turf put down, and it's just generally tidied up the area. So the, the, the general feedback from the community is it's, it is looking good. Um, there's always room to improve, but it's um, yeah, looking good. We have got a new toilet block in Akaroa. Um, and we've also had an increased presence of council staff in Akaroa, and uh, that has been acknowledged. And I just want to shout out to the staff mm. that are making this as smooth as possible um, for the conditions we have. Um, there is also a concern with regards to cruise ships and tourism um, that has come through the community, um, and that is around hygiene in both Akaroa and Littleton. Um, in light of the coronavirus, we do need to make sure we have got sanitation and hygiene practices in place um, and has been brought to our attention a few times about no soap and, and certain toilets and that kind of stuff. So that is a concern coming through the community and um, I do agree with that concern that, that we do need to take care of our communities and um, take care of our visitors as well, making sure we have got those hygiene um, standards there and facilities available to them um, when they come into our, our ports and harbours. Um, next one. Next one, yeah, yeah. Um, stuff happening in Little River, yes, my home. Um, Little River Big Ideas is still uh, moving forward. Um, and this is another one of our board priorities coming through our board plan, and that is to support local leadership and engagement. Um, the Little River Village, uh, Little River community is, is very engaged and motivated to get some projects done. And with the help of the Little River Warrior Community Trust, um, they're moving a lot of those projects forward. Um, end of last year, we had a community breakfast run by the Trust with the support of the council, obviously, funding. Um, and we got staff to come out and actually give the community a catch up on what the council <coughs> projects are happening in the area um, for the likes of the tennis court renewal um, and also land drainage um, and flood mitigation that is ongoing. So it's good to keep the council and community um, communicating, talking together um, about upcoming projects because quite often when you're on the ground you can't see what's happening until you see the diggers come out. So it's, it's good to have council staff come out and that it was a really successful day um, coming out. Um, but there is lots of projects going on. Some are community led and some are council led and um, it's exciting. Um, lots of things going on around Little River. Also in Akaroa, once again, another community that's um, motivated um, and keen to get projects going. Um, we had a community hui um, just before Christmas, which was well attended um, by over 80 residents. Um, we did say to them at the start of the meeting that this wasn't just about cruise ships, this is about other issues that are affecting Akaroa. Um, and what came out of that was things like cost of housing, attracting and retaining younger people, um, environmental regeneration, ageing population, 
um, and tourism social destination management. So we are continuing to work with the community um, with another hui coming up just to follow on from this initial one and see how we'd like to progress those issues with them, not for them, um, and, and getting projects off the ground. Um, and like I say, we have very active communities out around the peninsula. So that's, I think, us in a nutshell at the moment. I think that's us too. Very good. Beautiful shots, by the way. <laughs> Um, Andrew. Um, thank you. Thanks very much indeed for raising in particular the issue around the um, sanitary facilities and, and soap in the toilets and so on. Um, and of course it's the coronavirus concerns that have um, caused us to turn our mind probably more than usual to, to matters of hygiene. Um, I'm just looking at the way that this was raised. It was raised by a, um, a, an Akaroa local mm -hmm. at approximately half past one at lunchtime and it's great to see that at 9.30 that same evening was sent back advising that the sanitary bins issue was um, resulting in activation of contractors to resolve um, and that a request for an upgrade of that toilet block occurred at the same time as well. So it was good to see that responded so quickly. I guess the, my question is, is probably more for the chief executive than for Tory. Um, the fact that we identified that there was a toilet block that didn't have soap and hand dryers um, again, in the issue of, you know, around this issue of a greater focus on hygiene, probably means that we should um, turn our mind to whether all our toilet blocks should have and do have those kind of facilities. And hand sanitizer is another thing that we'd probably put into that equation as well. Um, so, what the level of service should be? Are we meeting it? If not, then can we upgrade? all of our toilet blocks to the level that they should be um, so that we're playing a, a leading role, an exemplar role in providing the opportunities for our community to um, do what they've been asked to do in the context of the coronavirus, but in fact what people should be doing all the time anyway. Very good. Are there any other questions or comments? Andrew, would you like to move the um, receipt of the report? Thank you. Seconded by Mike Davidson. I'll put that motion. All those in favour say aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Thank you very much, Tori. Thank you, Thank you very much for coming today.